Hey there, it's Tom Corsonals, and in this video I want to share with you two of my favorite free autoresponders. Okay, so, uh, you know, there's many, many autoresponders out there that are free or have free trials or some kind of free offer, you know, to get you started uh, with your email marketing. Uh, I'm going to share with you my two favorite ones. I think they're the best free options out there right now. Um, so let me first off talk about the free trial stuff. So you'll see just about any uh, autoresponder out there will have some kind of free trial. No matter what the price of the product is, they generally have a free trial, whether it be 14 days or 30 days, something like that. But what happens is after the trial ends, then you end up paying full price uh, on a, usually a monthly basis for uh, the product, which is fine. Uh, there's no problem with that. We'll talk about the paid autoresponders in a little bit. And honestly, the paid autoresponders in general are better than uh, these two free ones I'm going to talk to you about. Um, uh, because they just have, tend to have better options and better deliverability rates, which are really, really important. And we'll talk more about that stuff in different videos. But uh, basically, so here's the first autoresponder I want to share with you. It's called LaunchRock. This is my favorite free autoresponder. Uh, if you're just starting out with email marketing, you're brand, brand new, and you have literally no budget, right? You have no money to spend on any higher-end autoresponders. I would personally start with LaunchRock. I think it's a really great product. It's very well designed. It's super, super easy to use. You don't even need to have a website. And that's the truth. With any autoresponder, you do not need to have a website to start building your email list um, because they will actually host the opt-in forms on their own website for you. So you can drive traffic to basically their website, but it's building your list and your audience for you. Um, so it's just a great option for, you know, if you're looking for something totally free and you don't have a website yet, you're just starting out, you're brand new, I think LaunchRock is a really great option. And it's, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory, actually, how to use it. I mean, that's one of the things I love about it for, for newbies, for new beginners, is that it's just so easy to use. I mean, you go to the website, you know, hit Get Started, create your account, and it basically just walks you through step-by-step step the entire process of setting out setting up your email list and your launch pages which are really really cool and this was basically designed uh, for startup companies right so this, this is uh, a great way uh, for startup companies to start for free to build your audience and build your platform for your product or your service or whatever you're uh, looking to grow your business in so that's launch rock i think it's really cool uh, a more commonly more well-known one here is called mailchimp uh, mailchimp is probably the best well-known free autoresponder out there uh, and it's a good product. I'm not a big fan of it personally. I think it's kind of clunky. Um, I'm not really a big fan of their design, uh, but they have definitely improved over the years. I mean, five years ago, uh, the site was much, much uglier and the design was much worse, so they've definitely improved over the years. Um, but a lot of people really like, like MailChimp, um, so it's definitely a good free option to try out. Now, one thing about it, though, is they do charge you once you get, I think, 1,000 um, subscribers. So you can go to the pricing page right here and um, this one's free, up to 2,000 subscribers is free, but you can only send 12,000 emails. Um, and I think that's 12,000 emails a month, but I'm not totally sure. You'll have to um, check with them on that. Um, but then you can get, uh, then, you know, once you get past that 2,000 subscribers, then you actually have to pay a monthly fee, which is about the same as other autoresponders. So, um, you know, the reason you might want to start with a, 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 this free autoresponder uh, even if you have the budget to use, a, uh, you know, to pay for a premium autoresponder, is if you're just testing out a subject, testing out an idea. I know a lot of marketers that, um, you know, they might create a new product and they're not really sure if uh, the, you know, their marketplace really wants it. They're not sure if they want to invest a lot of money and capital into starting up this new venture. And so you can start building your list for free up to 2,000 subscribers with MailChimp or LaunchRock. Um, and basically test it out and see if it's a good fit and, you know, see if you really want to be in that market. And then if it is, you know, then once you grow the business, then you have to upgrade and pay a little bit more. Um, but if you already have a budget for your email marketing of, you know, 10, 20, $30 a month, um, you might as well just go start off with uh, a premium autoresponder. If you know that you're going to be in that business for several years and you're really committed to it, I would just go ahead with a premium autoresponder like Aweber or one of the other premium autoresponders that we're going to talk about in, in the next video. Okay, so hope this video has been helpful for you. If you're looking for a free autoresponder, check out MailChimp or LaunchRock. They're both pretty easy to use, uh, fairly straightforward, and totally free up to about 2,000 subscribers. Okay. So I hope this video has been helpful for you and wishing you an incredible day. Take care.